Hey guys, what's up? I'm Quinn Marie with Red Carpet Report. We are here in Hollywood at Paramount Pictures for the 31st Annual IDA Documentary Awards. And nice to meet you. you too. Congratulations, you're being honored. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so we, I mean, Netflix is basically the the main place people go to watch television. The, the, the original content you guys are putting out right now is probably the best right now. I agree with you. <laughs> I mean, and I, I, I don't know, I, I feel like, it, yeah, it's like it's the main place people go to now. It, it's a completely different outlet for streaming television and things like that. I mean, I don't know. I, I think it's kind of. I think it's kind of amazing. Well, you know, it's it's amazing if you think about how little, how short of a time we've been at it. Um, we've only been releasing our own original shows for going into our third year. Okay. And in that time, we've had uh, this year we had 34 Emmy nominations for our shows. We had 11 different shows nominated. Um, our, our show we just released with Aziz Ansari called uh, Master of None scored a perfect 100 on Rotten Tomatoes with critics, and is people are loving it all over the world. Uh, Jessica Jones just came out. I mean, just it's being able to keep up the pace of shows that we're doing. We have 16 scripted series this year, we'll have 31 next year, and being able to keep up the quality at a very high level, I think has been a, a testament, I think, to a really good team that, are, that works with me uh, and to be able to do it in such volume. And another thing, I mean, and people love the fact that they can binge watch something. They can watch an entire season of something right then and there. You can't really do that with any other, with any yeah, other I outlet. Think, I think the shows are better and the experience is better because you can do it like that, where you can connect with characters. When I grew up, I used to know the first and last name of TV characters because I was re I connected with them in a way that you'd, people weren't doing anymore. And I think in this kind of binge viewing experience where you can spend an afternoon, you know, with a show, yeah. you really are vested in it. You feel that, very close yeah. to it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what have been some of your favorite uh, Netflix original series? Well, it's very hard to pick, you know, among your children uh, <laughs> right. in those things, but I'm, I'm really, really loving uh, Master of None right now. Um, it's a... Uh, uh, one of those shows where I think not beyond the fact that it's very funny, which is of course you have to be one in a comedy. It's also it, it, it's very experimental with the form. So every episode has different theme music, different logo treatments, and a whole different style in some cases. So it's been a real interesting and bold experiment in television. So. And now is Chelsea Handler going to be doing like a daily? Show so in Jan in January we'll launch Chelsea a show called Chelsea Does it's a, a documentary series where she's going to do four feature documentaries about four different topics so it's Chelsea does racism Chelsea does marriage Chelsea does drugs and Chelsea does technology uh, which is going to be meant to kind of set the stage for the talk show coming later in the year okay and are those able are those all going to be put out at once or we're, we're debating it right now whether or not it's going to be a daily show or we're going to do it the way some people like to do which is to drop three episodes on a Friday night or something we do like that yeah so we're trying to yeah we're working we're working through the details of that now so awesome. we're looking forward to it. congratulations thank you very much thank thanks you. thanks for watching guys be sure to hit like to like this video also subscribe for more interviews and leave us a comment with your favorite documentary this year and also Christmas lights